Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you all to beautiful Front Street along historic Riverfront Park in Harrisburg. We're here at Dixon University Center on North Front Street to announce something very big, a wonderful collaboration that we have with Historic Harrisburg and with Lighten Up Harrisburg to replace, finally, after quite some time, all of the missing light fixtures themselves, the actual downed posts all along Front Street. We're starting at the north end of the city and we're going to make our way to the south end of the city and it's going to begin next week. You come back at the end of next week, you will see these lights replaced. These are 29-foot poles. They cost about $2,000 or so a piece and we are going to be very pleased uh, to announce a major contribution which the city is matching from Lighten Up Harrisburg. It's part of our project that we announced back in May to replace the missing poles throughout the city of Harrisburg in advance of our LED conversion project. First step is making sure that we have working wiring and actual poles. Since we met back in May, some of you were there in Shypoke, we were fixing lights, replacing poles. We have replaced 19 different poles that were missing throughout the city of Harrisburg. And next week alone, on Front Street, we're going to do 15, 15 different 29-foot poles. It's all part of a major effort on the part of the city, and I'm pleased to say that I'm joined by our Public Works Director, Mr. Aaron Johnson, our Street Light Coordinator, Kevin Baum, and our City Engineer, Wayne Martin. And I'd like Kevin to talk a little bit about uh, what he's done over the past uh, few months, what you might anticipate and see next week, and then I'll have Wayne talk a little bit about the RFQ that went live yesterday on our website announcing the LED conversion project. Go to harrisburgpa.gov, click on bids, you can read the RF, uh, it's an RFQ, you can read the RFQ for yourselves there. But uh, we'll start with Kevin Baum, who is the street light coordinator for the city of Harrisburg. Kevin. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning. Uh, as the mayor had mentioned, uh, since we started this uh, install, new install project uh, back in uh, May, in uh, the two months, we did install 19 uh, new fixtures of various types. That would be the, uh, the kind that we're putting out here on Front Street, some of the 29-footers, and also uh, the acorn-style fixtures, the green decorative fixtures that you see throughout the city. Uh, one location at uh, Penn and Her Streets, we installed our first LED acorn-style fixture. And uh, we've been getting some positive uh, feedback from the Midtown uh, Action Council um, on uh, how great that looks and how well it lit up the, the neighborhood. So if uh, anybody wants to take a look at what's going to be coming in the future, uh, that's Penn and Her Streets. Um, next week, as the mayor mentioned, we'll be starting to install uh, 15 poles out here on Front Street. So this whole first lane will have a lot of activity in it. We're going to try to install about three a day. Uh, giving us uh, a total of 15 by week's end. Uh, there's uh, a total of about 21 missing. We will uh, continue with our efforts after next week, but uh, our goal is to get 15 of those in next week. Well, thank you. Thanks, and uh, Kevin mentioned the LED light, which uh, you can see. You're going to be seeing a lot more of that. As we get respondents to the RFQ, we're going to be testing out various types of LED fixtures throughout the city of Harrisburg. And there's, uh, there's, an, there's another LED light not far from here uh, as well, right? At uh, Which address is that, Kevin? Near where you are. The Cobra Heads? Yes. Uh, 3115 uh, Susquehanna Street. 3115 Susquehanna, you can see the Cobra Head. The other address, you can see an acorn light. Get a sense of what a difference they make. And imagine the entire city lit up with LEDs. It's going to be an incredible thing, an amazing thing for public safety. I want to introduce uh, our engineer. Mr. Wayne Martin, he can tell you a little bit about the RFQ that went live and what we might expect in terms of a timeline for the LED conversion. Thank you, Mayor. Um, as you said, the RFQ, the request for qualifications to find a qualified contractor uh, to do what would, is more or less a design build, a turnkey project to convert all of our street lights um, to LED went live yesterday. Well, we have about 6,000, give or take, street lights in the city that'll, that'll undergo the conversion. Um, the, the, RF, um, the RFQ, um, it, was a, it was a 
big effort. I believe this will be the first time the city has uh, procured a contract through a GISA, a guaranteed, a guaranteed Energy Savings Act, which allows us to do this design-build type of procurement. <clears throat> and um, so uh, about a month, a month, uh, August 15th is when the uh, qualifications are due. Uh, there's an interview process involved, and through that, uh, we'll select the most qualified, the best value for the city, uh, combination design, contract, and there'll also be a financing element to that uh, proposal as well. It's great, and I want to give special, especially a special thanks to Wayne, relatively new hire here at the uh, city of Harrisburg. He put that RFQ together entirely by himself. We did not have to go to outside consultants. Uh, we're managing this ourselves with our own staff, which is very limited. A really uh, tremendous job and a big savings for the city and for everyone. We are also honored here to have with us the chancellor of the state university system, Mr. Frank Rogan, who happens to be my neighbor. We meet each other on a, on a regular basis as we're walking in the weekends. Also, um, to tell us just a little bit more about this campus and why lighting is important, uh, especially from a public safety and a university system standpoint. Mr. Rogan, Thank good you, to Mr. see Mayor. you. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I am Frank Rogan, the still relatively new chancellor of the Pennsylvania State System of Higher Education. 14 uh, state-owned universities scattered throughout the Commonwealth and providing uh, educational home and higher education to approximately 115,000 students. Now that's important for this conversation because of course the headquarters of that system resides right here on Front Street, as a matter of fact, right here just to my left. So Mr. Mayor, suffice it to say, my neighbor, that I am delighted, no pun intended, uh, that we are here today specifically in front of the Dixon Center. This center plays home every year to hundreds and hundreds of students seeking an undergraduate or graduate educational experience on this most beautiful campus enterprise to be able to have their chance to live the great American dream. As a still relatively new citizen of the Commonwealth, and by virtue of that fact, I am also an actual resident of the beautiful capital city of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. And my wife, Courtney, our nine-year-old son, Colby John, and I do actually reside in the historic McCormick House located just behind us here on the Dixon Center campus. So this new lighting project has several aspects of importance to us, professionally and personally. The idea that our Front Street area will be better lit with LED and the fact that not only will it bring greater illumination to one of the most beautiful and idyllic settings in all of Harrisburg, the Dixon University Center campus, as well as light will provide greater safety to the citizens who use Front Street on a regular basis. We can say congratulations, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. Thank you so much to the great benefactors who have worked to make this a reality and know that this being the point of origin for this wonderful exercise will make us a consistent source of pride as we bring greater illumination to the great capital city that is Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Thanks for allowing me a chance. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, yes, Thank you very much. Very well said. We are so lucky to have you here. We, uh, it's a beautiful campus here at Dixon. Uh, it contributes so much to the city of Harrisburg. Uh, thank you for coming out and showing your support today. And as I say, we start here, but we're going to go all the way, all the way down Front Street, replacing all of these lights. Uh, you see two of the stumps. If you guys back out just so that the cameras can see, that's what we're doing. Kevin has already laid the foundation. Those are new bases that have been installed with the wiring ready to go. So now it's the time to bring the poles and the fixtures to there. You've got two more behind you. Um, you'd be amazed at how many light poles actually end up getting hit by cars in Harrisburg. And I'll give you a bit of a preview, but uh, we're very excited to say that when we are going to be repaving Front Street next year, it's actually uh, starting at Division and it's going all the way down to Paxton. We will be rebuilding our curbs, especially in the section from Division all the way down to Foster Street. These should be eight inch curbs. They should be uh, a protective and a public safety uh, as part of their design. And in a lot of areas, the curbs have just worn away down into nothing. So that's gonna be exciting. There's also gonna be a bike path coming up that we're particularly excited about that we're working with PennDOT on 
but we'll have more announcements on that in the future. So, why now? How are we able to do this? The RFQ that we're talking about, well, that, that is a longer term process. That's going to require um, outside funding. We've talked about maybe tapping into the silos, looking at other types of financing. But to replace these actual poles, the spur to replace these actual poles came from a wonderful organization. That organization is Lighten Up Harrisburg, which is a subsidiary of Historic Harrisburg. And together, they have worked to raise money to make it possible for the city to match this 50-50. We're splitting the costs. They have raised a tremendous amount of money through what uh, is their GLOW run. And uh, we're going to have a Trek presentation here in a moment. And we want this to be a regular, tree, uh, a regular tradition here in Harrisburg because there are always going to be poles that will need to be replaced even after the LED conversion. But let's start by introducing and recognizing the head of the historic Harrisburg Association, Mr. Mike Walsh. Thank you. Uh, on behalf of the hundreds of members of the historic Harrisburg Association and the hundreds who joined us in June for the first ever GLOW Run, uh, we want to thank Mayor Papenfuss and the city uh, for their leadership and their support and their partnership uh, in this effort. Uh, this is a public-private partnership, but it's not unique uh, to the city or to HHA. For more than 40 years, the Historic Harrisburg Association has been working uh, to preserve the heritage in our city, to improve our neighborhoods, uh, and to enhance our quality of life. So we're delighted that in the past few years, Lighten Up Harrisburg has been a new addition to, histor to Historic Harrisburg Association. Uh, it was founded by Matt Krupp, who we're joined with here today. And we want to thank Matt for his leadership in creating that, that idea, which has helped the city so much. And as mentioned, hundreds of folks came out in June, and they helped get us here today by making, uh, running along Front Street and around the city to make Harrisburg the shining city on the Susquehanna that it can be and that it will be. Uh, and we were also supported not only by the runners, but by so many donors, uh, some of whom we are delighted to be joined with and by today. So uh, there were two folks I want to thank. Uh, we're going to hear from one. Uh, Stacia Zawi, who was the co-chair of the first ever GLOW Run, and Devin Drabick. And Devin is going to take a moment and thank our sponsors. So thank you, Devin, for your work. And thank you again for your sponsors, to the sponsors for your support uh, of Historic Harrisburg Association and Lighten Up Harrisburg. Thank you. Thank you, Mike, and thank you, Mayor Poppenfoos, for your support of this campaign. Uh, Harrisburg's inaugural GLOW Run was an incredible success. Um, I want to take a moment to thank not only the community for coming out and supporting us, but our sponsors. Our top sponsors this year were Capital Blue Cross, Savannah's, Pinnacle Health, Giant, and PHFA. So I want to thank them all especially for being those top sponsors. Um, we had well over two dozen sponsors and in-kind contributors who really made this a reality for us. Um, anytime there's a startup event, we really rely on support from the communities, organizations, and companies to make it a success. Um, I do want to thank um, Harrisburg Downtown Improvement District and Mid Penn Bank especially. They're here with us today to do this presentation. And I want to thank the hundreds of people that came out on June 7th. We do hope to do it again next year, so mark your calendars. Uh, we'll be doing it probably in late May, early June again. So pay attention to Historic Harrisburg's website for more information on that. Um, thanks to your generosity, we are delighted to present this check today for $22,000 oh to the goodness. city of Harrisburg. <laughs> Thank you all for your support, and um, thank you sponsors for helping us to brighten our streets. Okay, keep it up for a moment. <clears throat> Just want a, a message to all those who contributed and donated to the campaign. The Glow Run just happened, and we're putting these lights up next week. Your dollars are going into action right away. We need your continued support. We promise to spend whatever we can raise very wisely, and you're going to see visible, tangible results in the city of Harrisburg 
uh, almost immediately. Thank you for everyone who participated in the GLOW Run. Thank you to all who've come out today to be supportive. Happy to take some questions from the media. Either for me or maybe for our sponsors or for the drivers going down Front Street. Yes. The 21 is all on Front Street? Just Old Front Street. Street. What is the total number, Kevin, of missing light poles throughout the whole city of Paris? In around 75, uh, about 65 at this time. Any sense? New installs. And distribution over the city where those are? Uh, we, we have all the addresses. All over the city. city. Yeah. All over the city. I can get you a detailed list of all those locations. We've replaced 19 of them since we met back in May and said we're going to start replacing them a few every week. <laughs> and uh, we'll get 15 of them done next week. So we'll have done 24 in a relatively short order. Uh, funding is an issue. The city just doesn't have the money to replace all of them yet. Uh, that's why this check is so meaningful and so important. These lights, not including labor, the cost to install them or the wiring and other things, but just the actual fixtures themselves cost about $2,000 a pole, and uh, that can buy 11 of them. The city is going to do the other four and install all of them. So it's a true collaboration, a real partnership. It's going to make a difference. How did the city decide to do Front Street first? I think, uh, well, we're not doing Front Street with, with first exactly, money. but with this money, I believe that was the desire of the Lighten Up Harrisburg group to do Front Street. It's a very visible street. It's sort of, uh, uh, it, you know, Fixing Front Street, I think, uh, will send the message uh, that Harrisburg is really brightening up, lighting up, and uh, making a difference, a big change. But our 19 lights that we've done so far have been all over the city in every neighborhood. And uh, we realize that there are lights out everywhere, and we're working hard to try and correct that. We can make a big impact, though, in one run. We're going to rent the uh, truck and have the crew out, and you're going to be closing down Front Street. It's very efficient to do it all just in, in one run over the course of next week. How badly is it needed? What's that? How badly is it needed, do you think? Very badly. It's our top priority. It has been from an infrastructure standpoint since we came in. Road improvements, street improvements. Wayne's also been working very closely with PennDOT on a variety of projects. And uh, we've got three paving projects between now and the end of the year that are already planned that will be accomplished. South 17th Street, 15th Street. <laughs> another smaller street in the city but lighting because it's so important to public safety and public perception uh, is really key and it's the one improvement that we can make that actually will immediately save the city hundreds of thousands of dollars a year so it's uh, it's an absolute no-brainer in fact we've been so overwhelmed by uh, folks that are interested in doing it that we're expecting to have an incredibly competitive process uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, we've had how many inquiries already? <laughs> Ye yesterday, the proposal went out to 48 uh, individuals who expressed interest in the RFQ prior to it being issued. And that's probably just the tip of the iceberg. So this will be a wonderfully competitive process, and we're going to have a great result. And you're going to begin to see uh, test lights and fixtures uh, e even more uh, throughout the city than we've already put up. Number of hundreds? Was there a firmer number on the number of Glow Run participants? All I heard was hundreds. A number of what? Participants in the Glow Run. Oh, how many, uh, how many participants in the Glow Run? Over 500 people come out this year. Over 500, okay. Which is really wonderful. That's I wonderful. think we're hoping to even build on that for next year. Absolutely. And uh, I won't put you on the spot, but perhaps in the spring another, uh, another Glow Run? Uh, yeah, we'll see, right? Okay. Uh, but uh, if we can make this a regular occurrence, uh, it's gonna it's gonna really benefit the city, and we wanted to we wanted to show sponsors and all those who came out to the Glow Run that uh, we can really use their contributions, and we're gonna put them in action right away. And then you mentioned in kind contributions. Is that twenty two thousand cash contributions or cash plus? <laughs> I am pleased to say that that is cash. Okay. That is not the actual check. But uh, we will have an actual check for $22,000 that will go directly uh, into the city's coffers. And uh, I mean, the event obviously raised even more than that and is a wonderful fundraiser uh, uh, for, for more than just Lighten Up Harrisburg, for Historic Harrisburg, for the community at large. But that's the result that's going into these lights here on Front Street, which is exactly what they said they wanted to do when we met in the planning stages of the Glow Run originally. 
Uh, I think it may have exceeded your wildest expectations, and, uh, and we're able to do this. Uh, when we planned the Glow Run, uh, we talked about the cost of the lights, and we talked about what it would take to do Front Street, and I think to be able to have raised that much money and replace this many lights in one week is really a great testament to all of your hard work, and Stacia, especially, who's not here today, I think deserves a lot of that credit. Well, very good. Thank you all for coming. And uh, uh, at least we had a beautiful, wonderful day and a fantastic setting here at Dixon. Thank you.